what's good guys we're back with another video and today today you see the title we're doing a trove speed tier list you know what i'm saying this isn't who is the best uh speed farmer this is who's the fastest classes right who's the fastest classes so we got a b c d and e tier you feel me we got all these different things all right starting off bro this is gonna be hard <laughs> uh I know exactly who's gonna be first. Let's let's just get that get this out of the way. Luna Lancer is gonna be first, bro. No one can argue that, bro. My Luna Lancer has reached up to I believe 800 movement speed, 850 movement speed, and that's without the fucking Bard 40k subclass. So, granted, I'm the fastest in the game, yada yada whoop de whoop, but it is what it is, right? Next is gonna have to be. Hmm, let me get some good stuff out the way. Where's the pirate captain at? Alright. So obviously he's E tier. Because he has no movement speed buff and he just he's just weird, bro. <laughs> he doesn't have the best dodge. So we all know Pirate Captain's gonna be there. Chloromance is gonna be in front of him, because Chloromance is by far the slowest in the game, bro. We can't argue that at all. Chloromance is by far is the slowest in the game. Alright, who is next, bro? This is hard. This is this is actually pretty hard, bro. Next is gonna have to be Tomb Razor at D tier. Reason being, my Tomb Raider, you guys see my Tomb Razor move fast and delves, but that's only because he has um, momentum. This is this isn't a who's the best farmer or whatever. This is like straight up speed. Like if one of these guys race it, race. Who would win? You know what I'm saying? If one of you guys race, whether it's Vanguard, Candy Bar, whatever, if they go in a race, who would win? That's what it is. You know, so I know you guys know I be zooming in fucking Dells with my Tomb Razor, but he doesn't actually have any movement speed. That's a whole separate video on how I build my Tomb Razor so that he could do that in Farm Binding Darkness and stuff like that. But he's going to be D on this list. All right, next. This is hard, bro. <laughs> this is hard. Okay, um. We gotta put Revenant in C tier because I've seen Revenant speed farmers with the speed spears. It's 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 pretty good. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty good. It's not bad. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Next on the list, hmm, it's getting interesting. It's starting to get interesting now. It's starting to get interesting now. We're gonna have to put. We're gonna have to put uh, Gunslinger at C tier, bro. He gets an extra 20 movement speed when he uses his ultimate, but he still isn't that fast, nevertheless. Not to mention the float messes this up. I just realized Solarian's not on this list. Solarian's not on this list. But if Solarian was on this list, he would be uh, E tier as well. Because he doesn't have that much movement speed. He'd be E tier, along with Pirate Captain and Chlorine Master. So Solarian would be right here, E tier. He's not that fast at all. It would be either E or D. E or D. Honestly, he has a little bit of momentum with uh, his bird and shit, so it gives him momentum, momentum just like the Tomb Razor, but he's either going to be D or E tier. Alright, now we're getting towards some speed farmers. Now, on PC, the Boomeranger update, bro, the Boomeranger update on PC, bro, like, it's insane. Like, he gets an extra 30% movement speed buff when he, like... In general, bro, he just gets a 30% movement speed buff, so, uh, this is hard. Should I put him in B? I'm gonna put him on B tier for now. B tier for now, by far. Alright, next is gonna be the Dino Tamer, and Dino Tamer's gonna be B tier. He's not that fast, bro. He's, he gets an extra 40% movement speed when he uses his ultimate, but, not 40%, just 40, actually. But, 30% is better than 40 because you have Power Dish, you have Fank Burner, Fank Wisher that adds on that multiplies with the regular movement speed. So that's why Donald Tamer and Boom Ranger are kind of next to each other. And then after that, we're going to have to put Vanguard. Vanguard's right here with them. I hate the Vanguard. I would put him at C tier, but he only gets the extra 20% movement speed, so... He, uh, he's slower than these guys, by far. Boom Ranger's faster uh, than Dino Tamer. Dino Tamer's faster than uh, 
Vanguard, so that's pretty interesting. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty, bro. We're getting into nitty gritty. We're going to A tier. Let's put Candy Barb right here. A lot of people forget about the spin the win ability, bro. The spin the win ability allows the Candy Barb to get 50% more movement speed, bro. 50% more movement speed, you know what I'm saying? That's insane. So that helps him. Not on top of that, it's the ice cream that makes him really, really fast as well. So knowing that, we gotta put the uh, Ice Age here at B tier. I'm gonna put him in front of Vanguard, but I'm not gonna put him in front of Dino Tamer or Boom Ranger because he he gets I think 50 movement speed for his ultimate, but it only lasts for five seconds, so it's not very consistent. You'll end up spamming a lot of flash using this character if you want to speed farm, so he's not that fast. Be at B tier, and then. Obviously, we have to put the Shadow Hunter here as well in front of the uh, Boom Ranger as a B tier. Because the Shadow Hunter also gets an extra 30% movement speed when he dodges, but it's not faster than the Candy Barbarian. It's not faster than the Candy Barbarian when he uses the Ice Cream, when the Ice Cream gives you 30 movement speed just off the Ice Cream, and then you get another um, movement speed boost from the Spin and Win ability. And I just noticed Bard isn't on this list either. Bard. And, um, Solarian are on this list. But if I was going to put Bard anywhere, he would be B tier also. Because he gets, like, a decent boost, 30% movement speed boost. Uh, so he's not going to be faster than the A tier classes. He would be in B tier because he's not insanely fast. Now we're going to move on. You guys are going to be mad at me, but Knight. Yes, Knight is faster than the Shadow Hunter, Boomer Ranger, Dino Tamer. Ice Age and Vanguard, yes. He is faster than all of these. Reason being is because if you use his ring ability, charge, I believe, or overcharge, I forgot what it's called. But anyway, when you use the R1 ability, without the Clash Gym, he does a dash. And when he dashes forward without the Clash Gym, it's actually faster than all these other characters. It's legitimately faster than all, the, all these other characters. Now, we're going to do the Fey. Yes, the Fae is also faster than the Candy Barbarian, the Knight, all these classes down here. Because he can teleport for eternity. The teleport is very broken. Do not underestimate the teleport. The teleport can teleport, depending on how much movement speed you have on this character, you can teleport, like, 15 squares, and you can spam it. Yes, he, with the teleport ability, use the Fae right now. Have someone race you with the same movement speed. The Fae will beat all these classes. <laughs> 110% the Fae will beat all these classes. Now, obviously, we're going to hit Neon Ninja right here. He's still not faster than Luna Lancer, but with the backflip, he still beats all these other classes. Uh, because it's just, the backflip just is OP. If you spam the backflip in one direction, he's going to be faster than all these other classes. And then, not last but not least, we have Draco. What is that music? I don't know what that was. But anyway... <laughs> Last but not least, we have Draco. The reason being is because Draco, when he runs in the lava and uses his ultimate, he gets a huge, huge movement speed boost. So, it's pretty fast, but it's not going to be faster than these two characters. So, that's all it is, folks. Um, yeah, speed build. This is 100% accurate, bro. I don't care what anybody thinks. This is 100% accurate. You can race me in-game to change my mind, but this is by far the most accurate thing like i said solarian would probably be d or e tier and then uh bar would be b tier but uh that's all folks peace out don't forget to like and comment on this video be the first one to comment whoever gets the 100k be the first one to comment i will uh shout you out in the next video and i will also shout you out in the description in this video, well, in the comment section in this video, so that'd be like, yeah, you on your flux, so you know who commented first and shit. But yeah, peace out. Next video is probably probably gonna be a Tomb Razor video of my 46k Tomb Razor because I haven't showed any builds yet for my Tomb Razor, so I gotta show you guys that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do what you gotta do, work out, whatever, play Trove, just hit the grinding, man, just hit the grinding. It's your boy Sparkle Console. Peace out, brother.